Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. School is out for the summer, but education is topping the agenda in several counties. Yeah, an area school district wants to make some repairs, but it will be up to voters to decide if they will actually be able to do that. WCBI's Selena Schaefer joins us live in the studio with more on the plan. Selena? Andrea and Joey, Monroe County School Superintendent Scott Cantrell says the district schools are in dire need of repairs. He's hoping that this bond will make that happen. Roofing, flooring, painting, these are just some of the smaller projects the Monroe County School District is in need of. This is why district leaders have made a $10 million bond request from the county. Superintendent Scott Cantrell says he understands that might sound like a lot of money. However, given the amount of projects needed for the campuses, he says it's a reasonable request. Some um, ask, well, you know, where did you derive a $10 million figure? Uh, we, uh, that's just basically done off construction estimates and, uh, you know, just a, a list of needs and then uh, applying those estimates to it. Larger projects include pavement improvements, additional classroom space, and athletic field lighting. All require extra money. According to Cantrell, projects like paving and repaving school parking lots, similar to this one here at Hatley School, is exactly what they're looking to do. However, these projects can cost up to $200,000, money that can come from these bonds. Another issue? Classroom sizes. We're basically using every available area. Uh, that we have on both campuses. Residents of the community agree that classroom space is important for everyone in the classroom. Teachers need a little bit more room to work. The more room, the better. They can move around and assist children as they need to. Voters can go to the polls August 16th. Andrea, Joey, back to you.